Hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nerds video series on bit manipulation interview question series and this is question number third in this video series and this is about find how many times an integer number should be divided by 2 to make it 0. Let's suppose we have 4 here divided by 2 is 2 and then divided by 2 is like 1 and then divided by 2 is like 0 0.5 so this will consider as 0 okay. So after point anything we will not consider because we are talking about the integer number. Okay, so to make this 4 reach to 0 while you are dividing it by 2 takes 3 count. So this is first, this is second and in third count you reach to 0. Similarly if it is 8 then you will be reaching till 0 with 4 counts right? 8, 4, 2, 1 and 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you can have a very big number maybe 1 million or 2 million or 10 million then dividing that with 2 and storing the result and then again dividing that and then storing the result will take like so much time and the CPU power. What we can use is like right shift. If you have 4 which is like 1 double 0 in a binary so if your register is like this like this okay so this is your 0th location first location second location so if this is your register growing like this and you right shift this register two time then in that case this one will reach in this box right so it will be like zero zero one so two time is like you still have a non zero value inside register the third time shift will make it zero zero and zero correct so now you already have your answer you have to go I mean you have to loop and keep doing this right shift one time and check did you reach to zero if that number becomes zero meaning you have reached and you solve the problem so this method is actually good than this traditional method where you divide it by two and then store and then divide by two again and keep looping through that number till that number reaches to zero but nowadays let me clarify a few more things nowadays compilers are so smart that they will detect if you do this like if you have some number divided by 2 if compiler sees this then what compiler would do compiler would know that okay you are going to divide this by 2 maybe I'm not sure but maybe compiler would do n is equal to n right shift by 1 that's what compiler would do internally and maybe not so nowadays compilers are so smart and there is another way also like if you have some number like uh, uh, let's say log n and then you divide that with log 2 this would also result you how many times you should divide by 2 to reach 0 okay so this is also one of the way but it's my job to let you know that okay this right shift actually divides the number and left shift multiplies the number by 2 Two. So this is multiplication by 2, this is division by 2. So this guy doubles the number and this guy makes the number half for integer. Okay? And these are pretty basic tricks. If you are from a CS background, you should know this. And somehow if you missed when your lecturer was explaining this, now you got it, right? Maybe that time you was looking somewhere else, maybe outside the window. I don't know. Or someone else. Who knows? So thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care. I'll see you in the next videos. Till then, take care. Happy learning.